it's Wednesday here, and you're watching. I'm so getting a boyfriend after this. This week's topic is gay pride, or what is gay pride, and I'm gonna be talking about tips for gay pride events, specifically New York, because that's where I usually go to. I never go to the New Jersey one because I don't have a car and I can't drive down. But tip number one. I suggest you guys to bring a friend along or a group of friends. I say group of friends because it's more enjoyable with people that you love and you get to be you, they get to see you, be a party slut and strip on the poles and stuff and wow this is awkward and yeah number two I'd suggest you to look beforehand where you're going to eat because me and my friends had a hard ass time looking for a place to eat. And it turns out, since it's New York City Gay Pride, uh, most of the restaurants are freaking crowded and you have to wait for a long time. So I would usually ex tell people to look for a place, know what time you're eating so you wouldn't have to wait in line, just go out to eat. Tip number three. So tip number three would be wear sunscreen because that's really important to a person's body and your skin is probably the most precious thing you're ever going to get your penis maybe your boobs maybe your cooch never going to get burnt because it's like inside but still rub that shit on you because you don't want to get burnt and disgusting afterwards in New York City some people say that you won't get burnt in New York City, which doesn't make sense. Even though there's city buildings, there's still the sun. The sun is always going to be here. So I really suggest you guys to wear suntan lotion. Suntan lotion? What am I talking about? Suntan lotion or freaking SPF 99 so you'd be pale as a motherfucker. Or I honestly think that people need to prepare as in like stack up your stuff just in case something happens. I usually carry a bag of clothes. My whole closet is always in my bag. I bring it to school. I bring it everywhere. I think it's a necessity. And uh, I'm saying that I would bring clothes because you never know. Jizz might follow the sky and fall on you. Your dress is ruined. Your skirt is ruined. Your mangina is ruined. Something's gonna get ruined and you're gonna have to replace it. So I usually carry a bag of clothes just in case I need to change. Into something more slutty or something else because I'm a party slut. Not really. I don't talk to people. Uh, five. I would really, 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 really suggest you to talk people, talk to people, not talk people, talk to people during Pride because you might make new friends and they might be the bestest friends. He, they might even be your future husband or future wife or future someone. But I really suggest you guys to always talk to people because eventually it's gonna you're gonna you're not you're gonna regret it if you don't talk to them especially when you find a cute guy who asks you for some directions and you're like oh i'm i don't know where i'm going i'm from new jersey and he's like oh really maybe we should walk together and you're like yeah we should and then just ignore him and talk to your friend and he's all sad because you didn't talk to him and now you regret it Fucking oh. Number six, I suggest you guys to always bring extra money around. A dollar, something, it will benefit you in the end because maybe you run out of money for the metro and the subway, metro, which is, whoa, that was different. Uh, you might run out of money for a car to go in the subway and it's always safe to carry extra money, like a few quarters or something like that. I would obviously do that because you never know. Yeah. Number seven. That's seven. <laughs> Number seven. I suggest you guys to separate your time wisely because there's a pride festival in one corner of New York City during that day and a pride parade during that day. The pride festival has a time when it closes, like it shuts down, but the pride parade like lasts for the whole day, I think. And basically, I would, I would, like, go to the Pride Parade for a few hours and then go to the Pride Festival because last year, I missed a lot of stuff at the Pride Festival and I regret it because Jake Bass was there and he's a sexy motherfucker. 
don't know who that is, search him up, because he is just... Mm. Number eight. So, this tip, I have no tip. I think I'm just going to say have fun. That's important, because y'all need to relax a bit. Because some of you might be, like, stressing out over school, or, like, some of you might be stressing out over SATs, just like me, and you just need something fun to do. So I suggest you to go to the Pride event and have fun. Number nine. Yeah. I don't have a tip number nine. The last tip, tip number ten, which is probably my favorite, is to rub as much suntan lotion and touch as many abs as you can because you make it even into a game make it into a game that's even better make it into a game and have fun because that's important that's like all the tips combined <laughs> so number 10 rub against as many guys as you want and don't get caught don't get arrested don't do any crazy shit and be safe because I don't know. Let's be safe. So there you go, guys. That was my Wednesday video. I'm sorry I didn't post a video last week. I was busy with the fashion show, which went very well, if many of you cared, but I probably don't. So, yeah. I hope you had a nice day. And I hope you come back to watch me again next week, because, yeah, I'm Wednesday. <laughs> Bye!